morning, good morning. Today we are going to play with some new products. Um, I'm getting ready to head out of town for a week. I don't know that I'm gonna have too many videos for you guys while I am gone. So I'm just gonna get ready. Um, and we have two new products we're going to try. We have the Mented Ooh La La. This is from Target, by the way, um, lipstick. And then I also wanna try this Milani uh, Gilded Mini uh, It's All Rose palette figured we'd try that. I'm going to take this with me if it works well. Um, I'm getting ready to pack up my bag for um, my makeup bag and I figured let's go ahead and record it and then you guys can have at least this video while I'm gone. This is the Pink Lips Major Matte Face Primer. I'm going to go ahead and use that. I've got a long day ahead because I've got 10 hours of driving so this evening with two little kids that are two and four. So it's going to be an interesting day. I think also I may want to use this Rare Beauty Pinch Blush. This one is in the color Bliss, and I think that's going to look really pretty with this. So we'll see how that works out, but I think it's going to look nice. All right, so to get started, we're going to get some foundation. You know what? There's a foundation I haven't used much. Should I move it? Mm. I was going to try that KVD foundation again with you guys on camera. I don't actually know if I tried it on camera, and one of you asked me if I liked it. So let me go get, okay. grab that. I have mine in the color, this is a good apple, medium. And let's go ahead and try it, because I think I just used it one time. I have a lot of foundation, so I'm constantly like using different ones. I can't remember if I like this. I can't, honestly, I think I just used it just the one time. So there's the color. Um, it might be a little light, actually. This is the medium. I usually go, yeah, this is a little light for me. I, you can see, like, it gives great coverage, though. I mean, holy crap, I think I used too much. Um, I don't think you need a lot of this if you're going to use this, and I'm going to need to do some bronzing because, wow, good coverage, good consistency. Like, the formula, it's like a medium thickness. It's not too runny or anything. It's also not too thick. Uh oh where'd that contact go? There we go. Um, so I think when it's all mixed in, it's probably good, but it was a little bit lighter than I'm used to using. So maybe I need to go a little darker. I, I heard that there were some issues with this, with the, sh the shade. Um, some of you guys mentioned it, but I've also seen it in other videos that people liked the, they really liked the formula, which I agree. I think the formula is really good here, but that the shade range isn't good. I don't know if I can find a photo of the shade range. In fact, I'll shoot it up here so you can take a look. So mine is a medium. I will say little goes a long way. Like you can see, I kind of use too much. You don't need a lot of this at all. Um, so it'll last you forever if you use it properly because it just doesn't, you don't need a lot. Now I'm going to go into this. This is the, um, I think this is by Honest Beauty. Oh, Undone Beauty. This is by Undone Beauty. I took this actually on my trip. I kind of mix these two colors together for a bronzer, so that's what we're going to do. Um, like, just give yourself a little bit of contour. I'm just going to get it on there, and then I'll blend it here in a minute. So I blend my bronzer up. So I go in the, like, right in the hollow of your cheek here, and then I pull it up. Um, that way I don't go too far down on my cheek. So... And it gives you a little bit more of a lifted, oops, a lifted look if you do that. So normally this color is fine, but it looks super dark because that, um, that good apple foundation is so light for me. So we're just going to, I think it'll be fine. I'm going to mix it in and then I'll go over it again with my uh, beauty blender and kind of mix any edges that might be, I feel like I put a little more on that side than this side. Yeah, so then all you can do is just take your beauty blender, go in like this, and just soften any edges. Same thing up here, so that you get a fully blended, beautiful, beautiful look. I might take this with me on my trip, too, because this has two beautiful highlights. I think I got, there we go. All right, so you have more of a gold and more of a champagne. Oops, I put way, way too much on my fingers, but it's fine. There they are. So two beautiful highlights. And then the other highlight I think I'm going to take, we're going to use this today, is the Rare Beauty. I want more of these, but they're always sold out. Um, I got the pink, and I'm trying to get the more icy shade, um, like a whitish colored one. And then there's a, like a, 
there's a dark one that I'm not going to get, but then there's a, um, like a champagne color. So this one is a beautiful pink. Whatever she did in this formula is something absolutely stunning. Um, you can even see like the amount of shine compared to these two is superior. It's, it's just absolutely. So this is like a pinky rose gold and I like it because it's not too insane. It actually gives your skin a really beautiful glow. So I think I'm probably going to take both of these. This is bronzer and highlight with me. I, I don't know. I was also maybe thinking of taking the Dior because I have all these highlights here. You have the pink, the white, and the, you have a bronzer. Let me, I'll go ahead and swatch these for you because why not, right? So let's do the, the white, champagne, pink, and bronzer. This is like such a good Dior palette. So I'll do these, uh, I'll do these right here. So you have the white, champagne, pink, and the bronzer. Really, really beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. This probably gives me a little bit more choices and I'm t instead of taking all this, I'm just taking this. So maybe I'll take the Dior. I don't know. I don't know. You guys will find out eventually. All right, we're going to skip the rest of the face for now and go into the eyes. We're going to get into this Milani palette. I am going to use this to give me a little bit of shape definition. Uh, there are no colors, it looks like, on here. No, they're just called shade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> so let's get some brushes. Okay, I am starting with this beautiful rose shade here, and we're going to use that as a transition. Let's bring you pretty ladies in. And I didn't use any um, primer because I'm not, I, well, I did on my face, as you said, but not my eyes. I'm not super worried about, I don't want too heavy on the makeup because I'm going to be driving all night, and I'm probably going to be wanting to pull my contacts out at some point. So we're just going to go in, do this really quickly, and see what we get from this Milani palette. So far, good pigment. Beautiful color. This, this shade is a beautiful matte, um, dusty rose shade, and it's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. It's got a nice depth to it, easily to blend. Oh, I was supposed to use my tool. I didn't. Oh, well. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to darken that baby up. We're going to take the darker rose matte shade right here. The only thing, this is missing like a really dark shade in here. Like if I wanted to go and do like an evening like smoky eye, um, this doesn't really have it. So I may have to, we're going in the crease with this. I may have to, I'm definitely gonna have to take another palette, um, but I will tell you, this is really blending quite beautifully. Quite beautifully. I am gonna go back over with the other, um, at the top again with the other brush with nothing additional on it just to get a good blend, but i um, really happy with the pigmentation here. It's it, it, it feels great, honestly. So I would check this out. I've, I've always known, I've always really liked Milani's um, eyeshadow formula. I think they do have a good one. Um, and it's, I know other people have used it and really liked it as well. So, I mean, it's just a good palette. Um, all right. So because I don't have a darker shade, I kind of want that. Let me see what's in here. This is our Pat McGrath. Oh, this is such a gorgeous palette too, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm. But that's not what I need right now. I need something with a darker shade. Here we go. We have some Natasha Denona. We can darken up with this. So she has this shade and this shade and this shade. I think I'm going to go in this one here. This is a, they say for here, this is the dark version of the Natasha Denona. Oh, I never took this off. I've been using this, this palette and her lighter palette a lot lately. I really like those two face palettes. So yeah, we're just going to darken the outer edge here because we just don't have that. I think I'm probably going to take the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette is what I'm thinking. Not this one, the lighter one, um, because that's just a good every day. And then if I take the Milani, if I have want to wear pink, I can. I mean, I'm not going to be too worried about my makeup on there because I'm going to have little kids with me. So I'm really not going to have that much time to play with my makeup. That we're going to go in with this pale shade and just put that right at the top. Like that. 
that gives a really pretty soft gradient blend to the eye and it also just blends those colors really really nicely for me I think that looks good what do you guys think I think for like the initial color lay down looks good. All right, so now on the center part of the eye, I'm going in with this shade here. This is a metallic kind of burgundy, but it's got a little bit of uh, red and orange in it. So we're gonna put that over the majority of the lid here. I'm really impressed with this little Milani palette, honestly, wow. I didn't think I was going to like these shadows as much as I am, but they're quite pretty and they're just doing such a good job. Oh, that's so nice. So, so nice. Okay. So for the inner corner, we're going to go, or inner part of the eye, we're going to go here. Now this is still like a, a pinky shade. It doesn't look as pink as it should be in the camera, but it going is. into this shade right here, we're going to get both sides and we're going to put that right here. Give us a little bit of light to this look. And then we'll use the even lighter shimmer in the inner eye part for the inner corner. So pretty. If you like the mauve tone shades, this is almost like a neutral for me, these, these, to these shades. Um, so if you like these, I think you'll, I think you'll enjoy this. Now going in with, they, they have like a little champagne shade here. And ignore that I have permanent blue on there. I can't get it off. We got to do the bottom lash. Lash line as well. There. Okay, so for the bottom lash line, I'm going to start out with this darker pink shade we started with. I'm going to go in with an angled brush and I'm just going to angle that really close to the waterline here. I am going to take this shade because I'm going to put that dark shade from Natasha Nona on the corner too. So I'm going to take this all the way across. And we're going to fluff it out in a minute. Keeping with that same brush, I'm just going to clean it on my switch. I'm going to take the even darker shade in here, this one called Smoke. And I'm just going to lay that right up at the waterline at the top here. And actually, I think I'm going to go a little bit up here too with it. Not being real precise, I'm gonna to have to clean up because I'm getting a little bit of fallout. But I want to just sort of frame the eye with this pretty brown shade. Like I said, I'm not being exact with this. Just getting it down and now we're gonna blend it. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of a fluffier brush and I'm gonna go in back with the Milani and we're gonna go in with the first shade we started with, this lighter shade, and we're gonna blend out the bottom with that. Curious, you guys use multiple palettes when you do your eyes, or do you just want to grab one palette and be done? Because sometimes these little palettes don't have everything you need in them. Now, if you find one that does, that's amazing. Keep it, hold on to it. I think there's one coming out actually from um, Pat McGrath. She's got it's all repeat shades, but it's a mini, like the purple one she did, and that's got like everything you need in it. I think maybe it's missing like one light, a lighter shade. I'm not sure, but. All right, so these are all the brushes I'm going to take with me to on my trip. So we're just going to put a rubber band around those, take those with us. All right, now I've got this liner from Jacqueline. This is in a brown as well. Um, and oops, sorry, I'm out of frame. I am going to go ahead and put a brown in the waterline here. I really do like some of Jacqueline's products. I don't know what's going on like with her, but 
I like her blush, her bronzers. I've really liked her eyeliners and her lip liners, but, um, and even her lipsticks. I haven't been in love with her, um, eyeshadow formula though. So I'm hoping that she does something to revamp that. Okay. So I'm just going to give myself a minute here. I'll be right back with liner, um, with mascara. Okay. The eyes are done. Very pretty. It didn't give me as much sparkle as I would like. Honestly, um, I'm probably going to add sparkle to this because I kind of feel like it needs it a little bit. Don't you? Um, I do have this cover FX pink and I think, I wonder how that would look just to like be like a topper if that's enough or not. I don't know. So it's really pretty, but it does, you know, I like, I'm a girly that likes a lot of glitter and sparkle and it just doesn't have a ton of it. Um, I don't do a ton either. But that's what we're at. That's where we're at. We're going to leave that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get this wet. And we're going to go ahead and put this Pinch Blush on by Rare Beauty in the color Blitz okay. next. So for this, you don't use a lot. But this color, <laughs> there's a big glob right there. This color is light for me. Um, but it still gives such a beautiful glow. Um, also, if you have her highlighter, her liquid highlighter, which I do but I can't find right now, you can mix it in. You can just put it right on top and mix it. And you get the most beautiful, dewy sparkly look so this is her bliss shade this is like more of a lighter shade i do have a darker shade as well this one this one is joy um i like this formula quite a bit from rare beauty um i am going to get more of these and more of her highlighters and then she just launched like a some kind of a juicy lip type of a thing as well um and i may try that too me know if you'd be interested in seeing a full face of Rare Beauty because I'm looking at what I have and what I can get. I think I have some lipsticks and things like that so we could probably do like a full Rare Beauty workup on the face. So all right now I'm going to go in with her blood or her highlight next. Very beautiful. This I'm definitely getting more of because it's just every time I use it it's just like a gentle it's gentle when I say gentle I mean I'm not wording that right. I mean, it just, it's seamless. It just blends right in. You don't really have to do much. It's not accentu accentuating any right texture. Um, it sh gives you a beautiful shine, but it just, it just goes right into the skin and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is actually what we could probably put over on the eye. Yep. Yep. That gave me the little pop I'm looking for up there. Just like that. All right. Now we have this lipstick to try on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Beauty Pie in the color. Maybe. Hold on. Foxy. I think I need to sharpen it. Yeah, that is hurting my face. Okay. That's a Charlotte Tilbury sharpener. I really like the um, Beauty Pie lip liners. If you're not a member of Beauty Pie, it isn't like an exclusive club. I'll link it down below. You get $10 off if you use my link, your first purchase. So here is the Nude La La. What a beautiful, perfect color for Foxy. Gorgeous, darlings, just gorgeous. I think that's good. I think that's good. So I am going to take my Rare Beauty blushes. I'm going to take my Mul I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to take the Milani. I love it. But it's, you know, I had to dip into two other boxes or packages to, like, get it to the color that I wanted. Um, so I'm taking some lip, some liners here. I'm taking the Marc Jacobs. I'm going to take the, oops the Il Maquillage Concealer as well as the Good Apple Foundation. 
I'll be right back. I'm going to show you what palettes I'm going to take. Okay. To so for setting powder, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier. This is a small one, so I'm going to take that with me. I also am going to grab another highlighter. I did take the Dior with the four, and I'm going to take this one. This is a putty one from ColourPop, and it's gorgeous. And it's just, it's just gorgeous. So I'm taking that. I'm going to take three palettes, <laughs> um, but they're small. So, and I feel like I'll get all the looks I need with them. I'm also going to take this Huda Beauty um, multi Dew Skin Tint by um, the Glowish Huda Beauty one. Um, I really like this, and this is for a day where I maybe don't want to do as much or I need to just, I just want to get my skin to a nice consistency because that apple stuff is a little bit, um, it's much more full coverage, and this is really light. So, I'm going to take this and then. Um, I'm going to take this little Charlotte Tilbury for when I want a neutral look. This is the Pillow Talk Dreams palette right here. This is gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. I also have a Ciate London, which has some browns. Um, this is the Cranberry palette, um, and it's got some pinks and browns and lights and golds and mobs. Really like that. And then I'm going to take a Pat McGrath, and this one is the... Um, Celestial Nirvana, and this one has also got some absolutely gorgeous shiny shades and one deepening shade. So I feel like with these three palettes, I'm good to go. So I'm going to pack up. I will see you guys when I'm in Buffalo, and I hope you guys enjoyed this fun look, and uh, let me know what you think of the Milani palette. I think it's only like seven bucks, so do I think it's worth it for seven dollars? Yes, but do I think I'll reach for it? I mean, first of all, the mattes are gorgeous. I actually liked the mattes in here way, way more than the shimmers, as I'm struggling with the shimmers. They just don't have as much pop. Now, I could say I could add pop on here from like something like this. So you're going to see the difference when I put a Pat McGrath pop on. Okay. So here's a Pat McGrath pop. Hers are just extra sparkly and these aren't even her special shades. They're not even her special shades. So, and then I'm going to put this in the corner. She's got this like, I don't know if you guys play like this, but this is always what I'm doing. I'm always, so by the time my eyes are done, it's never what I originally started with, but well, I don't know that you can see a huge difference with that. You'd need to see her special shades. I'm not taking any of her, her special shades with me. So, all right, I'm going to pack up. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon. All packed up and ready to travel.